guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to show you some new products that I've been using for my face. Garnier Skin Active Refreshing Facial Cleanser made with aloe juice. And this is a gel cleanser. And it's pretty much water-based. So I have really oily skin stuff. So. And then I use this Garnier hydrated 3-in-1 moisturizer day and night mask. I don't use it as a mask. You can use it as a mask, put it on for 10 minutes and wipe it off, but I just use it as a moisturizer for my face. And then I use my toner, which is from Oily Cleanse with Witch Hazel. And then lastly, I mist my face with the Garnier Hydrating Mist. And it's made with aloe juice, don't have any dyes or anything like that, so keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to wet my face with warm water with my hands. It's going to rip water all over my face and onto my neck. And I want to squirt some of the gel onto my hand. Another thing I like about this gel is that you can close it so it doesn't leak everywhere if it falls over. And you only need one pump. And I'm just going to rub this all over my face. I love the way this feels. It like tingles when you put it on your face and it feels like your skin is breathing. And then I'm going to wet my washcloth and scrub it and rub it off. I already removed all of my makeup using my normal stuff that you guys seen how I remove my makeup on my other videos. And you also want to make sure you really get by your hairline because I always end up having some foundation there and some contour powder near my hairline. And then I'm also making sure that I don't have any more traces of eyeliner in my waterline and mascara on my lashes. This step is optional, but this is what I always do. Don't want to wake up in the morning looking like a raccoon. And then I'm just going to pat my face dry. Next, I'm going to take use my toner using my cotton rounds. I like the premium cotton rounds because one side is smooth and the other side has like an exfoliating side. And you just want to keep going over your face as many times as you need until there's no traces of dirt or makeup on the cotton pad. You really want to make sure you get around your hairline because I'll always end up having some foundation that's over there by my hair. I normally do my makeup with my scarf on so I don't really get that much makeup near around my hairline. But today I didn't. So yeah. And you also go over your neck with it so I just keep going over my face until it comes out clean so I know my face is clean and I got all the traces of dirt and makeup and oils Yeah, this line I think is new because it says it's new and it just started having it at Target. And I really like it since I can't find my simple skincare products anymore. They discontinued that line because not enough people are buying it. So I had to find something else that works for me and my oily skin. And so far I like this. I haven't broke out from it at all. So we'll see. Now I'm just going to take my moisturizer and just moisturize my face. Blend that into my skin. And 
and it says it's good for sensitive skin it doesn't have any dyes or perfume in there so that's another thing I like I'm just gonna mist my face with the facial mist and now my skin is nice and clean and this doesn't make my skin feel dry at all that's why I love it I hope you guys like it too give it a try my new routine once a week I use my peel off mask and one thing I like about this hydrated mist is that you can use it on top of your makeup too if your face feels dry or whatever and it just gives your face an extra boost this I love this because I like the way that it feels it feels like my face is breathing and it's alive and it feels like soothing in my skin and I can feel it in my pores but thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next video